At ASH 2020, I'm excited to present data on magrolimab in combination with azacitidine for acute myeloid leukemia patients. For a brief background, CD47 provides a don't eat me signal to, uh, on macrophages and thus magrolimab blocks this signal. You can nicely see in the video here with cancer cells in green and macrophages is orange, really no phagocytosis, whereas in the presence of the antibody, you get rapid induction. And preclinical modeling supports this with azacitidine is synergistic. As far as the clinical response data, you can see in 43 total AML patients and 29 P53 mutant specific, a composite complete remission that is over 60%. These responses are occurring more rapidly than azacitidine therapy alone. Additionally, we see many metrics of high quality response, including MRD negativity by multi-parameter flow cytometry, as well as a high percentage of patients achieving transfusion independence. Additionally, you can see a median duration of response that is now nearly 10 months. Again, many patients being early on in these responses have been improving over time. And lastly, really focusing on survival, and if we look at the P53 mutant patient, although again, many patients are early on in study with the median follow-up of five months, we currently have a median overall survival of 13 months, which is quite favorable even with the paradigm shift of HMA and venetoclax. And really in, to in total, these data strongly support future investigations of this combination, and particularly a phase three trial will be launching in 2021 in the P53 mutant patient population. Thank you.